Hello YouTube. Um, so like I promised, we're going to cover armor today. Um, this is going to be a little bit longer tutorial because it is there kind of is a lot to cover in it. And um, as simple as one thing could be, um, it, there's a lot to cover. So um, first, you're going to need a texture map of armor. So um, I don't know if you recall a while back, or if you've seen that tutorial or not, but um, I created a tutorial, a tutorial on how to get textures from your dot .minecraft um, jar, and basically we just get all our textures and stuff from there and then edit in paint.net. So, um, go into that folder that you have um, with all your stuff that you got from your dot minecraft uh, jar and you want to go down to um, one called models and then you want to go into armor and here are a few different type of um, armor templates and stuff that you can use now the ones that um, you want to go after because there are some in here that aren't um, oh, maybe not maybe not um all right so you don't want these two right here the um leather layer ver far farley i don't know what that is um i'm guessing it has something to do with the um um our leather texture when you're wearing it or not or whatnot but <clears throat> any other one um, that just basically has um, oop, has um, say two words in front of it so or one word let's just leave it at that so iron layer leather layer uh, gold layer and diamond layer and also chainmail you can all use um, I'm going to basically whip up a um, quick texture map and then I'll be right back with you. Alright, so I'm back and I have my two texture files right on my desktop and we're going to import them by uh, create new armor texture. Um, maybe not that one. <laughs> okay, back. Um, you want to go and click the one below, import armor texture. And the reason that we named our, um, well, insta incidentally, <laughs> you have to name it the same as each other. So layer, say I named mine sapphire, and then it has underscore layer underscore one. Another one is sapphire underscore layer underscore two. Now, it has to have the underscore um, layer as it says here. Um, so we're just going to locate our two files that we've created, so our Sapphire 1 and our Sapphire 2, and OK. And now we're going to create our um, armor, so and where is it? There we go. And that's one thing I forgot. Uh, you have to make the items as well. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. And I made the um, textures very quickly. So helmet, open, item. There it is. Body, port, where is it? Chest plate, there we go. Item. Choose that one and uh, leggings is over here. Open item and last but not least, boots item. There we go. All right, so you don't need to worry about the update text right now. Um, Yeah, don't worry about that. 
Um, so name your armor set. So I'm going to call mine Sapphire. And then you want to choose your texture map that you made. And maximum damage that the armor can dissolve. So it's pretty simple. Um, how much damage can it take before it breaks? So I'm going to say like. Two fifty six sounds good. Um, so the damage values of um, what the oh, what is it? Um, each item has. So I'm going to say. Just add a zero to everything, why not? And enchantability, so how what are the does this armor have good enchants? If you if it does, um you want it higher. If it doesn't, you want it lower. Um Next would be your way to craft it. I'm not going to um, cover that because it's just pretty simple. So I'll see you in game. Oh yeah, Steve, you look smexy. Anyways, that's what the armor looks like. Um, pretty basic, but you know it does well. I guess it looks kind of like diamond armor in the sense that um, has. Well, it was the diamond armor texture, so, <laughs> um, yeah, and the items are, look like this. So, the helmet, the chest plate, and boots, leggings. So, um, that's how you basically make armor, and, um, if you have any questions, post in the comments. Um, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Uh, thanks for watching, subscribe, like, or comment.